everyone, Kim here again. Um, now I'm going to talk to you about the final showcase pitch rubric. If you take a look at it, you will notice it's significantly shorter. It's missing some of the categories. It also only has three main um, areas and then the did not do. And it uses bullet points rather than full sentences. So this was created specifically by the e for the ease of use by the judges. Um, but it is something that we want you to be aware of. It's something we want your students to be aware of so you guys can just kind of take a look at it and, and see what's going to be, they're going to be judged on. So same type of thing before. Make sure that they start out with the hook and then do their introductions. Go into their problem statement. Um, what did they find out about the competition from the Big Book of Technology? Who are their customer segments? What is their solution? And the prototype, again, those should be done at the same time. Um, and again, the prototype for the um, first round should be interactive. The prototype for the second round, they do need to have something to show. Then um, the outcomes. So how is this going to um, benefit the customers and the business? So it's kind of like the WIFMs, but it's all combined into one. Then your SDG, of course, relating back to that the unique value proposition, what makes their solution a unique solution for their small business partner, for the industry, for everything. Make sure they do the ask. Um, if you notice here on this, what we're telling the judges to look for, do they give you specific action steps? Do they ask for immediate action? And does it move the listener to act? So those are the things that they really, if they want to get that higher score, so just regardless of what they're asking for, they need to be very specific about it. We would really like to show support for our small business partner. What I'm asking you to do right now is you've all got your cell phones. We know you do, and you've got them on silent. But if you could please pull them out and open up your social media, whether it's Instagram or Facebook, if you wouldn't mind pulling it up right now and follow our small business partner, their Facebook page is, their Instagram account is, their Twitter account is. If you could just take 30 seconds to do that right now, that would really show a lot of support for our small business partner. Okay, so it was specific, ask for immediate action, and by giving them time during the presentation to do it, they're moving them to act right away. Um, so make sure that they're doing that. And then we go on into, again, the quality of presentation and the originality of pitch. Um, some of the things that you'll notice that I did on here on the bullet points um, may not be a traditional speech. Okay, this does need to be professional, but professional doesn't always have to be what we think of Tony Robbins standing up in front of a group and speaking. So start thinking in that area. Um, sometimes singing and rapping, you know, you can still make those professional but fit it in or maybe you know a short piece of it could be done that way other things that you know make it original is that makes the the listener they're really into it they're buying into it this is important to them they're not just sitting there and listening to another scripted speech and that really is what that originality is about and our kids have great personalities we want to let them show they also have incredible gifts and talents that are outside of this whole design thinking. If they have original gifts and talents, let them use it. You know, on a side note, so we're gonna do a thing on pitch decks, but maybe you have students who are amazing artists and rather than a traditional pitch deck, what might be a better solution is that one of the members of the team has created these beautiful pieces of art that can go behind that explain it. Or that they could have you know, um, if you've ever seen the people who do the live scribing on the tablets of the event, if you've got somebody who's good at that, um, a lot of different things that they could do to bring in their originality. Um, but let the students, you know, let them be creative. Just make sure, that, you know, you prof creative and professional don't have to um, conflict and they don't have to be kept separate. Um, help your students to find that area that allows them their creativity and their personality but still respects the professionalism and the integrity of the presentation and that will really go a long ways um, towards helping their originality piece and as always if you have any questions at all you can reach out to myself you can reach out to Jonathan to Brendan to Alejandro or Khadija and we're always here to support you Hope you have a great day and I can't wait to see those pitches.